Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check a fresh release from Edward. It's a brushing set in 148 scale and as you can see it copies F6D cameras. Obviously it should be handy with Edward release which we reviewed relatively recently and as you remember this plastic kit did not feature any cameras but it would be cool to show them in this Recon aircraft and that's what actually you can do with this resin set so that's why I decided to check it closer this is a commercial sample here and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so first of all we have a typical packaging for brassine it's a cardboard box with a 3d picture of the set itself in assembled state obviously and golden color means p parts just in case you wonder and here we continue with the barcode also there is a price 20 us dollars it's 19.95 and here you continue with address of the manufacturer is some safety advices for this set it's a resin so that's why you have to be careful and everything is sealed with a tape so just give me a second to cut through it and we will check what is actually supplied inside okay so let's open it as you can see everything is covered with this assembly manual which is also I would say standard design for brushing set and here we have resin parts as you can see there is supplied in several plastic bags these are tiny ziploc bags which are quite handy in our hobby so do not throw them away and we are going to start with various panels which will be used for this compartment where they store the cameras so let's zoom in i will place all the parts one by one so let's remove all the dust and here we continue with the first part it's r170 next we have one more i guess this will be the tray which will be holding the cameras again another bulkhead which will be installed from the opposite side i guess next we have part r172 so actually what we have here is these two parts will be in the middle as far as I remember by the 3D image, this will be the rear and this one will be the front. But we will see it in assembly manual just to be sure. And of course we also have these tiny brackets which will be also used for the camera. Just to give you the idea of the size of these parts, here is my fingertip. So this is a 148 scale set, so do not underestimate the size of this set. It might require some special tools because otherwise it will be really tricky to get them into the right spot. So be sure to have at least a pair of tweezers and be able to work with them because otherwise it will be a small nightmare to assemble this set and assemble it in a nice way. Next we continue with resin parts which are actually copying the cameras themselves. So just give me a moment to take them out. They are provided on two resin bases. So maybe I'll show them on my palm so that it will be quicker and it will be closer. Here you can see them. These are really nice parts. I would say it's a typical resin quality so there is nothing to worry about maybe just some um, cleaning when you separate them of the resin blocks but that's not a difficult thing to do especially if you're brave enough to start such set and next we continue with quite interesting component in this kit so give me a second i'll try to refocus the camera i'm not sure why it wasn't focused so here we have 3d printed parts and they are provided on this black plastic base. They're really thin, so you have to be extra careful with them. As you can see, these are thin frames which will be installed in the compartment around the cameras. And when I'm saying thin, it's almost as thin as human hair. So be sure to treat them with a due care because otherwise you will end up with the broken parts. But that's not all. We also have some P parts. As you remember, we had them visible on the 3D render. So P thread is enclosed in this Ziploc bag with the cardboard so that it won't be bent during the shipment. And here we have unpainted P thread for all structural parts, even this frame for the whole compartment. And all these parts are typical for Edward. I mean, you don't have to worry about the quality that the product 
which they do produce for several years, actually for several decades maybe. Next we continue with assembly manual, so let's move sticker to the side. As I said, this assembly manual is printed in standard format for Brazil. We have a small parts map which shows all the parts laid out on the table, if we can say so. Next we continue with first steps. And here we have quite interesting way out of the assembly manual. So um, in case you've worked with brassin sets, it will be familiar to you. But here you have first steps. So basically you have to remove the internal insert and check these steps. And these red areas actually mean the space in the original plastic, which you will have to cut off. You will have to sand it down and you will have to thin various walls. So be ready to do this. Otherwise, you won't be able to incorporate the compartment into your aircraft, obviously. So that's something what is really necessary. And next we continue with following steps. So here we install the camera containers, actually the film containers. And we start assembling this whole compartment. As you can see, everything starts with bulkheads and this special tray where everything is fixed. Then you basically assemble the bulkheads all together. You have to use the metal wire in order to uh, replicate some wires in this compartment, obviously, but that's not a difficult task. And the only thing you have to do is to measure precisely the thickness and the length of these parts. Here we continue with more of fine features in this compartment. As you remember, we have three versions of the cameras. So be sure to check your references um, in order to decide which camera you need on your model so that it won't be a wrong version on your aircraft. And next we continue with installation of the whole compartment. Well, first you install these P parts. As you remember, it was the structural thing which was wrapping around the whole compartment. And then you get the compartment into the tail area. As you remember, Mustangs had it into the, in the tail area just in front of the tail ending gear wheel well. So be sure to sand down this uh, wall properly because otherwise this compartment won't fit into the aircraft. And let's flip it over. Here we have some final steps. So obviously we'll have to install this frame which will be around the whole compartment and you have to install this special circular frame which will be around the camera because camera is in the side of the fuselage. And from what I see this compartment will be actually open from the bottom so maybe it would be a good idea to get some mirror stand in order to display it on your model. But that's pretty much all. That's the final steps. And on the last page, you will find the parts map once again. Here is the covers chart. We have prices. You remember it's 20 US dollars. And of course, address of the manufacturer. So all in all, we get an interesting kit, but I would not recommend it to beginners because of its really tricky nature. So in case you are brave enough and you are confident in your skills, that's the set to get for... Um, F6D, in case you do not have experience with resin, better not to start such difficult modification process because then you end up with the damaged parts. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Of course, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, do not forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.